Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Nikki here with Jess Ford and today I'm going to talk about one of the most game-changing features I think Ford has come out with and that is something called Pro Power Onboard. So today I'm going to go over the different sizes of Pro Power Onboard, how to turn it on, how to use it, um, how to calculate the difference between amps and watts and how much power can this produce? How many tools, appliances can I use while using ProPower on board? Um, so we're going to answer a lot of questions. I'm going to go over an overview and then we're actually going to test out some products to see um, how much wattage it uses and see how it performs while using ProPower on board. So I want to pause the video for a second and invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel or even become a member to our YouTube channel. Um, we post anything and everything for you to get the most out of your Ford vehicle. Um, we want to educate you on everything so that you can utilize your vehicle to the max potential. Um, if you want to uh, see more of these educational videos, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now let's get back to it. What is ProPower on board? It's an integrated power system that uses your truck's battery and engine to power it, this generator, wherever you go, no matter where. And the best part is that Ford offers different sizes of ProPower on board. And so I'm going to break down all the different sizes and what vehicles that they come on. First that I'm going to cover is the two kilowatt ProPower on board, 2000 watts. This comes on the gas powered F-150 as well as Super Duties. Now, does it come standard? No, it is an option that needs to be added on when the truck is being built. Um, but 2000 uh, watts is enough to power a TV if you're tailgating. It's enough to charge batteries if you have battery powered tools. Um, it gets the job done for sure, but there's also larger sizes. So when you get to the F-150 Power Boost Hybrid, it jumps up to 2.4 kilowatts and that comes standard. This size can handle things like a miter saw or a microwave, which is just crazy to think about. You can bring a microwave anywhere, anywhere that your truck can go, a microwave can go. And then the ultimate gas powered performance, you can jump up to a 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board. And that's what's on this F-150 power boost here. And for the pinnacle of mobile power, if you go to the all electric F-150 Lightning, you can get the 9.6 kilowatt Pro Power on board. Again, this is only available on the F-150 Lightning, which is an all electric EV truck. But for today, I am just gonna cover the 7.2 kilowatt Pro Power on board, which just so happens to be on this F-150 um, Power Boost. And so you get four 120 volt outlets in the bed of the truck, as well as a 240 volt, which is very handy. And then let's go into how to turn it on and what the dashboard looks like. So I do need to apologize. This truck is a wee bit dirty. Um, PN Wild took this on a antelope hunt in Wyoming. They did get this truck a little dirty, which we asked them to. Um, so no judgment on how dirty this truck is. Um, it just means that it was used and used well. Okay. So first, Let's start the truck. Okay, so using this super duper easy, you're gonna use your sync screen. So we're gonna go over to features and we're gonna go to Pro Power Onboard. Now you can push this button and it'll do the same exact thing. So this means that it is on. You will notice just one panel. If I hit generator mode, it'll say in generator mode, your engine will continue to run to supply power to the outlets. Only use vehicle outside. Okay, so you'll see there's two different panels, 3,600 watts each. And when you're plugging something in in the back, the radar will increase dependent on how much power is being used. This way you can monitor how much power is being used, how much power you have left. And then right here is panel A. And then right here shows panel B. Um, right now I don't have anything plugged in, so that is why it shows under 200 watts for both. What's really nice, the EV, so the Ford F-150 Lightning, um, 
is fully electric, so there is zero sound when you are using Pro Power on board. When you get to the Power Boost, the F-150 Power Boost, the engine will idle on and off, depending on how much power you need. And then the gas-powered F-150, the engine will idle. So it is a little bit noisier, but still, for what the benefits are, I do not care if it makes a little noise. It is much quieter than your normal generator. So before we start plugging things in, it is crucial to know how much power that your tools and appliances need. Um, and it's super easy to figure out. First, check the device itself. I just so happen to have a blow dryer here. Um, no judgment on how old this is. It's probably 15 years old. Um, but they appliances will have either um, a metal plate or a sticker or somewhere that shows um, how much power that it needs to operate. So on here or on that metal plate or sticker, whatever it is, you're looking for amps or watts. If it shows watts, which this one does right here, I'll zoom in in a different picture, but um, you're all set if it shows watts. If it shows amps, there is a calculation that needs to be done. Remember this, watts equals volts times amps. Do we got that? Okay, so here I have a Milwaukee rapid charger for um, some batteries. And if you look at this metal plate, you'll see 5.5 amp. So we do have to calculate into wattage. So 5.5 times 120 equals 660 watts. So to power this at full capacity would be 660 watts. Easy peasy. So if you're plugging in multiple things into Pro Power on board, to be safe, total up all the wattage to make sure that you're staying under 7,200 watts because that is the size of this Pro Power on board. Um, and remember, you do have two different panels, panel A and panel B, that are 3,600 watts each. So if you have two things plugged in on panel A, make sure that it's under 3,600. And then one last pro tip, tools with big motors let's think air compressors or um, big saws they have a surge of energy just to get started which is sometimes two three times the running power that it uses the good news is pro power onboard is designed to handle handle the initial surge of big appliances tools like this. And the sink screen is here and designed for you to monitor how much wattage. It takes the guessing game out of it and you know exactly how much power you're using at any given time. Now that we know how to be safe, we know how to turn it on, we know how to understand it, let's start plugging in some things. I got a couple scenarios and some appliances and tools to replicate those scenarios um, to see what 7.2 kilowatts can handle. Now remember, 7.2 kilowatts is a massive amount of power, so I have no question that it can run all this. So I have the stage set for a couple different scenes. So we have job site, which I think is really important because I think this is so ideal and convenient for the job site. I have a tailgating scene because who wouldn't want to tailgate? Um, and then just some random ones that I think are beneficial to see being used using Pro Power on board. So let's start plugging it in. Okay, so truck is on. I'm going to turn on Pro Power on board generator mode. You got it. Okay, let's start plugging things in. Okay, I did warn you that it was dirty, but this light right here, you can see that it's lit up. If it is solid, that means that it is on, everything's good. If it is blinking, that means something tripped it or um, it isn't working and you have to reset it. If it is not on at all, that means that Pro Power Onboard is not on at all. Okay, so now let's set the scene for tailgating. Let's say that you want to um, make some chili in an Instapot. Let's say you want to make some french fries in an air fryer and a mini fridge for, I think you know why, for some cold water and Diet Coke. Um, I'm going to replicate that as well as plug in a projector um, so you can see the ultimate tailgate experience in the back of your truck. 
Okay, so the truck did just idle on, and so you can actually hear it. Again, it is not that loud. Okay, so here I have the Instapot. Here is the air fryer, mini fridge, full, and then a projector. Now you can plug in a TV. I don't have a spare TV lying around, nor do I want to undo the one that's on our wall. So that's why I plugged in the, the projector to kind of just show you what's going on. So before I turn these on, I'm going to look at the metal tag in the back or the sticker to see how much wattage we're dealing with. Now I know this isn't a lot, but I'm just wanting to show you an example to make sure that you're being safe on using ProPower on board. Okay, so for the projector, it actually doesn't say wattage or amps on it. So I had to do some Googling and it's in the range of probably 150 to 350 watts. So we'll go off the high end and do 350 watts. Okay, no judgment on how dirty this is, but you can see right here, it takes a thousand watts. So 1000 plus 350, 1350 so far. Let's see the air fryer, 1500 watts. So this is plugged into panel B along with the mini fridge and then the Instapot and um, projector are on panel A. Okay, so we have it up here. Let's see. Barely anything. So this and the air fryer can go together and then the other two can go together. So we have about, what was it? Find and then so well below what this can handle. Let's go inside to see what it looks like. So I have all four running right now. And you can see we are only using 1,090 on the projector and Instapot, and then 1,510 for the air fryer and the mini fridge. Again, well below what this can actually do. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into some actual tools. I'm gonna use a tile saw, a shop vac, a light, and a miter saw. I'm gonna check wattage first and then plug in. I'm gonna set the phone inside so that you can watch the wattage because obviously the miter saw, I have to be there to use it. So I want you to see the wattage being used while I'm using it. Okay. So the light is on and running. Tile saw and miter saw I'll turn on later. So when I started that miter saw, you could see that initial surge that I was talking about earlier that we have to prepare for and think in advance for. Um, even though these things are designed for those surges, we just have to be smart and safe. Let's say that you put a air mattress in the back of your truck, use the, um, the pump, the air pump using ProPower on board to air it up, and then you have a projector that is projecting um, your favorite movie or your um, significant other's favorite movie. You have a microwave going for popcorn. You have a space heater to keep you warm if the blankets aren't working. It's a perfect date night. Based off of that idea that I had, grabbed a space heater, grabbed an air pump, and for the fun of it, grabbed a blow dryer um, to kind of replicate a microwave. I think they're around the same. Um, because I don't want to take the microwave out of our kitchen, um, just for the sake of this video. Okay. So for the space heater, it is 1500 Watts Oops, didn't that. for this pump. Let's see. Let's see. So this one's in amps, 1.75 amps times 120 volt. Cause that is the plug-in. Um, I did math before this. It's 210 watts, so six to nothing. And then for this blow dryer, what did we say it was? Um, 1875. So I probably shouldn't put this blow dryer and the space heater together because that's cutting it close to the 3200. What I'll do, I'll put these two on panel A and this on panel B. I'll go inside and check what the wattage is. Let's turn on, space heater is on. This was in storage, so it's super dirty. 
we are gonna turn the pump on and then the blow dryer on, which is gonna get loud, and then I'll go inside. <laughs> Okay, so 1400 watts for the space heater and air pump, and then 1320 for the blow dryer. Again, we have plenty of power to run other things. I'm just doing this for the sheer example of using it and what it looks like. So there you have it. There is a very, very brief and explorative um, demonstration on Ford's Pro Power Onboard. Whether you need um, 2,000 watts from a Super Duty or 9,600 watts from the F-150 Lightning or the 7,200 from this Power Boost, this F-150 Power Boost, Ford has the power solution for you through Pro Power Onboard. Now, if you have things that you want us to test on Pro Power Onboard, um, like tools and appliances. If you want us to stage a scene like camping, hunting, um, job site, anything that if there are questions that you have, we want to answer them for you. We want you to be confident in this, just as confident as we are in Pro Power Onboard. So questions, comments, concerns, do not hesitate to reach out. We want you to get the most out of your Ford vehicle. Again, let me take a break. Let me take a breather. My name is Nikki here with Jess Ford and hopefully we'll see you next time.